So the next topic I wanted to ask you about is I've ran a few videos, I ran a video this week on, on Bob Carr. Yeah. What do you think of his comments? He's a fucking idiot. What do you think? Bob Carr, he, he, he's complaining that he, he, got, he, he got delegated to business class instead of first class. He didn't get the pyjamas. Well, I'd say... Had to use plastic cutlery. I think Bob Carr's a bit like you, Archie. <laughs> um, no, I've never fucking flown uh, at the pointy he end. To, he, I'm he, saying he's, he's supposed to be a labour man. He, he's trying to sell a book and he's got to get uh, some uh, publicity for his yeah, book. Yeah, but you must so, admit, he's, he's fucking... It, it's really nasty shit what he's saying. He's not helping the Labour Party, is he? He's not in the Labour Party anymore. Uh, he, he, he's, um, um, I don't, well, I don't know what he is at the moment. He's, uh, he's, he's on a gravy train for life. He's got his pension. He doesn't give a fuck. He's a retired Premier. He, and he, a, uh, he's a successful Labour Premier. He's a Senator. He was a Foreign Minister. Um, he was in bed with that Eddie Abu. You know Eddie Abu? Well, I'm not sure he was. He was, he was a New South Wales power broker. Yeah. Well, he would have had to have been in bed with Eddie Abu. Well, um, Eddie Abu. I, 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 I haven't read that he was, but. Um, you to but, get the numbers. But, but, he was the second longest serving New South Wales Premier. He would have to have been in bed with Eddie Abid. Well, if you say so. Um, but I think that Bob Carr, well, he's trying to sell a book. He's, he's, he's giving the money he's to giving, charity. <coughs> he's, 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 he's not doing it financial. Well, he's telling people what he thinks. What's wrong with that? I mean, I used to travel around... Um, <coughs> With the Commonwealth Bank, uh, you never bis went business, business, business class. class. Always went business class. <laughs> business class. Because if you went on a morning flight, uh, if the, if very early in the morning uh, on the business flight, you got a very nice meal. Whilst if you went the uh, um, economy class, you didn't get. You're a good he's meal. saying business so, class isn't good enough. He's saying so first class. I always went. No, he said he's doing business class. He's talking about. No, he, he said, said business class wasn't good enough. Well, but business class is quite nice. But um, he's after a tosser, a while, isn't he? If you travel around, it, it, it it's good for the first. A uh, couple of months or so, or the first six months, and after a couple of years, you think, well, it's boring. It, it, it's hard. You, you, you're uh, um, always out of a suit, working out of a suitcase. You're traveling. You, you're staying with nobody, uh, people that you don't know. And you know, he said it's hard to be humble when you're, you're talking to world leaders in that. And um, yeah, well, it's probably true. And um, I think that um, he's a tosser, isn't he? As as, so. as the newspaper think... said, first class tosser. Well, I think... First class tosser. Well, I think, first of all, that paper is not a Labour paper. Um, well, it, it still needs to be said. I mean, it doesn't matter if well, it's a Labour paper. It's the truth. I think Bob Carr's a tosser. I had the Zionist movement has attacked me lately. They said that Bob Carr... I, I don't even know what Bob Carr's fucking view with, with the Jews or the Palestinians was. All I'm saying is Bob Carr sounds like a fucking, fucking dickhead. He should have shut his mouth, retire gracefully, don't say anything. Well... Yes, some people do that. I mean, you, some think people on the Salvation Army I'm not on the teat, about you. I'm not on the teat of society, am I? I'm not sucking on the teat of society. Like like these former politicians. They're sucking on the breast milk of society. Well, it's a tough life being a politician, if you're a good politician. It, um, I mean, uh, if you look at Bob Carr's salary compared to the salary of the chief executive of the Commonwealth Bank or the big banks, it's, still uh, fucking... it's only a tenth of what they earn. And yet he puts, you know, the Prime Minister of Australia is gets paid well, but not as well as the Chief Executive of Rio Tinto, BHP, uh, Commonwealth Bank, ANZ Bank. Nothing, nothing, even not even a tenth of but what they get. But are they that good, Bart? Well, the, the, are the, they? Are they? It's a different uh, area they're in. Well, I, th I think they are very good. You know, they are very good to get to there, uh, to, to to fight all these people that want their position and stay there and. And then when you're there, people ridicule you and, and embarrass you and uh, attack your family. I, 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 I myself, I think that these people are worth that money. Um, but Bob Carr, well, he's, that's his view. He's a dickhead, well, isn't he? I don't think so. I think um, he's a successful man, and that's his uh, uh, views, said tongue-in-cheek. Um, it's a bit like you, Arch. I mean, everything you <laughs> say is tongue-in-cheek. I mean, we know you're a great guy. But uh, people viewing might say, this guy's a... Oh, okay, you know. fair enough. Okay, let's call, wrap, wrap her up then. That's enough for today.